you guys, they wouldn't believe it unless I showed it. Okay, you guys, so I am inside of Grocery Outlet, known as the Bargain Market. And I am just curious, I haven't been in this store in a very long time. Um, so I'm just curious to see what they have for under a dollar, being that it is a bargain market. So if you don't have a grocery outlet in your area, you're not familiar with them. They are the store that gets a lot of um, tester products or products that are no longer going to be sold. And so um, you may find something here one time. And then when you come back and shop again, they will no longer have that item um, because it's been discontinued. So let's see what we can find in here um i don't know whether to title this a uh, dollar challenge or not but i am looking for anything under a dollar and so far we have the ice drinks um, which if you can get those and stockpile them um that would be some good variety because you guys know i always talk about having variety um and trying to not have bland food and just imagine if you're stuck in the house for even 30 days and you only can eat what's in your home after a while especially when it's non-perishable items it's going to become redundant so you do want to make sure to try to have items that have some variety so we have our gatorade which is always a good find for under a dollar um and stocking up on gatorade is never a bad thing now you guys have seen me in many videos talk about this coconut water and um that the coconut water or the coconut milk can be used for a variety of things so very good to see that they have some version of looks like pressed coconut water or pressed coconut juice let's see what it is it is pineapple coconut water so that's something that is not a soda or a juice that may be a good little treat to have and it's under a dollar so i'm um, just gonna do a look around and see what else we can find you guys so you remember if you watch my dollar tree prepper video then this milk they didn't have this brand so i'm excited to see this here grocery outlet y'all might be onto something um in the dollar tree they did have the um container milk let's see when this expires i'm looking at this through the camera view with you guys so let me see if i can see august 31st 2023 so this is a little over two months um shelf life and again it's not something that may be long long term but it's something good to have and if you drink it anyway you can just rotate it out you can rotate it out and it's only 99 cents and this is the vanilla almond breeze this is the one my husband likes um and then here we have the almond coconut breeze at 99 cents so you can get vanilla you can get coconut which says original but it also has a coconut on it so go figure now supplies when it comes to prepping is something that um, you guys have heard me talk about and I haven't talked about it a whole lot but it is definitely something um, that I will talk about more and this is an instant hand sanitizer for 99 cents and looks like there's a 12 count and the brand is Welly so that's a good find right there just some hat to have on the go and stocking up on your vitamins of course always important and we have some just over a dollar items there now if i was going looking for supplies that i could stock up on here's some cool packs for 79 cents and it has one cold pack in there so that's not bad now if I was going to look for supplies to stock up on this probably would not be my first stop however I'm always trying to expand the view of what you can get and where you can get it from to stock up on just to let people know that there's always a, there's always a way right there's always an option um, 
to stockpile whatever stores you have available to you sometimes that's all you have that's what you have to work with everybody doesn't have a variety of stores in their area um, so it can be hard harder to get a variety and to find certain stock items but um, when you can and you see them it's best to grab them um, because they may not be there when you come back um, here we go feminine hygiene so we can see right here and it's kind of block it blocked let's see what's the content here so this is just three pads but they are 89 cents for three and it has a coupon inside for a dollar off y'all know i love a coupon if you watch my old 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 videos on my other channel i used to talk about my extreme couponing um back in the day so some feminine hygiene products not too bad just to have something as an emergency stock that may not be what you buy regularly because that can get pricey but having three of those on hand for under a dollar um an emergency um in a go bag or an emergency go bag um not bad And I'm just browsing and looking here. Something else to keep in mind, especially if you have little ones, is to have games and things like that that they can play that will keep them busy. And looks like we have some crossword puzzles here for 99 cents. This is even cheaper than the dollar 25 store. So there you go. And there's some other things here. Um, Looks like there may be a puzzle for 99 cents. I'm not sure if that's in the right place. Um, but this is just something to keep in mind. Again, picking up things when you can, where you can, when you see them. Um, and then, you know, you don't have to worry about when the emergency comes or shift happens and you're scrambling and, you know, trying to keep your kids entertained and keep them calm you'll have these little things already on hand so if you go to walmart or wherever and you see some little things it's best and a good idea to just grab them when you see them okay friends so this is 7.99 for a 360 lantern and it's not a dollar but this is something um, that would be good to have on hand i think it's cute um, this is something that you could take along with you. It's lightweight. It's not heavy at all. Um, and it's Lumen's brand, which is, um, I guess, a pretty good brand. And again, it's only $7.99. What happens if you have to leave your house and you are completely, absolutely dependent on being in your car to travel to get to your destination? You want something like this. It has jumper cables gloves, other little knickknacks that you would need um, in an emergency situation for your car, especially if that's going to be your shelter because you're traveling to get away from a natural disaster or you just have to be sitting in traffic or you are away from your regular house for any period of time. And they have these here for $9.99. Not sure if that's the best deal because this is not my typical arena of things uh, when it comes to buying these types of things. I leave that to my husband. <clears throat> um, I hear my kids but um good to have also rope again not sure if this is um the best pricing for rope but just giving you an idea of things you want to grab and this is a ceiling light i probably could get this for much cheaper even on amazon but this is something that you could take and you could even use this inside of a car so you can turn it on without having to you know have it wired in or hooked up and i think it uses batteries most likely i don't see it has a remote control so that's nice um and it's motion detected so this is nice um and you can use it and it does take four aa and two triple a batteries so a lot of battery power but um, if the lights and power are out and you are home, this is a great deal, a uh, great thing to have. I don't know that it's a great deal based on the pricing, but it would be worth shopping around and keeping this in mind as a tool to have. Now, one thing you may not be thinking about, and I thought about a video on five things 
to not stockpile or not worry about getting. Um, but this wouldn't necessarily be a stockpile item um, as much as convenience or comfortability. But if you are a makeup person, you may want to be knowledgeable about having your makeup available to you. And if you're gonna have throwaway makeup or emergency makeup, uh, 99 cents is a deal. Um, we do have some makeup remover wipes, 99 cents. And these are just extras, right? Things like uh, tweezers, those actually would be good. And in emergency, y'all see my ashy hands made an appearance again. <laughs> um, <laughs> toenail clippers, um, these types of things could be deemed as essential, especially to have in uh, emergency situations, tweezers, especially to get bugs out, to get splinters out and things like that. But just an idea, if you are a makeup person, uh, some of these makeup items or cosmetic accessories at 99 cents would be good for throwaway, not everyday use. Now, people may say, why would you need makeup if you're in a shift happen situation? Well, everybody doesn't wear makeup for the appearance of others. Some people wear makeup just because it makes them feel good. Um, and it will give some type of normalcy as well in that type of situation. So makeup. It may be for you, it may not, but it's a good idea to know that you can go ahead and have it available just in case. It's in it. So my daughter's trying to convince me to get this pillow. <laughs> because why? So I can fall asleep on a plane and be calm and not throw it everywhere. We're traveling soon and she gets very bad anxiety about flying. Um, comment below if you think I should get her, this big baby, this pillow. Say hi. hi. Their sister. No husband today. He's at work. We are out here by ourselves uh, creating this content. So hopefully you're enjoying it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit like. And to everybody, every single one of y'all who were commenting on my last video, y'all got my heart. I am so appreciative. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Hold on. Hold the camera for your mama so I can let the people know how much I appreciate go team i am so appreciative of all of you guys for subscribing for liking for commenting and if you have not checked out my community tab um be sure to click my channel name life with shayla and scroll over to the community tab on my page and um see the things that i'm posting on the community tab i posted a poll and asked you guys where do you want to see me do a video next and so far the vote is for grocery outlet so that's why i'm here um but i'm gonna give you guys some more time to vote because of course i'm gonna have more video content coming out one more side note this channel is not a prepper channel even though i know it seems like that and if you just found me that's what you probably found me um regarding so i will be posting other content i love god i love jesus i know you guys hear me talk about that and say that in all of my videos or some reference to god and i'm very serious about my relationship with christ so um this channel is life with shayla my life is not just prepping although as of late it's of urgency and that's what i'm doing a lot of and i will still do more prepping videos in the future but i just want to let you guys know so it doesn't come as a shock or surprise if you see other content or other videos that is not me prepping please stay tuned stick around hopefully something i share will be um inspirational to you and um you can find something in it that speaks to your life because whatever is to come on this earth we are praying to god to have mercy upon us um and cover those who are believers and who love and um are trying our best to live our lives according to his purpose and his will for us um and so whatever comes upon this earth that it will not fall on us it will not affect us and by the grace and mercy of god um we can all continue to live lives um that show who we love um who loves us and that it's only by God's grace that we are here and that we are living and breathing and the miracles and blessings that we are having are only because of him. So I talk a lot about that on my channel as well. So make sure um, you're not alarmed when you see other content and I hope you will still continue to watch, um, but I will continue to do prepper content. So let's get back to the grocery outlet bargain market prepper video. What else can we find for a dollar? Let's see. Okay, this is why when you're shopping and you're looking for whatever, you're looking for prepper items, whatever, you have to pay attention because if I didn't turn my back, I would have missed these. So I showed you guys the feminine products earlier. Here's some more. Um, this also comes with a coupon inside. There's also three for those of you who use tampons instead of pads. 
um, or a variety of the two, 99 cents. Great for a bug out bag. Also, we have some different collections of, um, there's a mask, I think for your hair. Here's a deep smoothing mask with keratin. Here's some conditioners and shampoos for your hair. Um, and they're all for 99 cents. So that's also a great deal. The little things that you don't think about and when a situation arises where you need them, it's the worst time to remember that you don't have them. So just keep in mind, uh, those are important things. Oh my gosh, you guys, full size shampoo, 99 cents. Again, this may not be your brand or what you use often, but if you need it in an emergency situation, 99 cents is a great deal um, to stock up on. And also you can take this and donate it to your church um, and donate and help other people build their prepper stockpiles who may not have the ability to uh, stockpile or to build on those extras outside of food, or you just wanna help out and help someone else start a stockpile or have those extras for bargaining. Remember, um, you may be in a situation where you need to barter, um, not bargain, barter. <laughs> uh, and so something like shampoo, which a lot of people probably are not thinking about off the top of their head, would be a great option um, to have just for bartering alone so if you can grab a couple extra things always do that because remember it's not just what you're stocking you also want to think bartering okay you guys so i'm down here on the can good aisle and i really hope y'all can hear me it will be horrible i'm gonna switch out and put my airpods in because it'll be horrible if you guys can't hear me it sounds really loud in here from the machines so let me do that and then we'll talk about the canned good items okay you guys i'm back so hopefully you can hear me um but we're just looking at anything that's under a dollar and right now we have the diced green chilies and i just spotted the beans down here but of course they are definitely more than a dollar um oh we did find some refried beans for 99 cents and I mean, the prices in here are not terribly bad, right? Um, they're not horrible. 89 cents. These are coming out to be about average. I think the last I saw these were 79 cents maybe. Um, <clears throat> at the first grocery store that I went to, we have tuna for 99 cents. That's always a good deal. If I was not moving, <laughs> if I were not moving, you guys, I would, I would grab like a whole case of that tuna right there. Uh, because tuna, that's a meal all by itself. Um, darn it. And Spam, the pricing on Spam is actually a little bit cheaper here, I think, than it was at Walmart. Um, and I was going to show you the beans. There was a customer behind me, so I didn't want to stand in the way. But these are the beans. And these are the Popeye's brands. Is it? No, Fiesta. Which in Texas, there's a grocery store called Fiesta. Not sure if it correlates. But they are not under a dollar. They're coming in at a dollar twenty-nine. The split pea is actually at 99 cents. So green split pea for 99 cents. And it is a one pound bag and it's 99 cents. So that's a different variety. And if you've been stocking up on your beans, maybe you don't have split pea. So that would be a good variety to stock up on. Um, just looking behind me, these are more storage items. Um, and I do see some trash bags for 99 cents, but I'm not really focusing on those. And here are some seal bags um, for today. And we have pasta. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is the cheapest I have seen spaghetti pasta. Now it's a small bag and look at the brand. You guys remember this if you saw my Walmart video and I know y'all saw that Walmart video because y'all blew that video up. Over 2,000 views, over 2,500 views in less than five days like thank you again thank you thank you thank you i know some people are like why does she keep thanking people why does she keeps saying that it's just youtube but youtube equates to money and if you know me from way back when if you've been following me for some years since 2009 you know that i'm an entrepreneur that's what i really do i have a whole nother youtube channel where i talk about my entrepreneurial endeavors but i get excited not just because um 
I'm hopefully impacting people's lives by sharing this information and giving people ideas on where they can shop, what they can get. So you don't have to go in the store and look around. You can say, oh, I saw Shayla saw pasta for 59 cents at grocery outlet. Let me go check my grocery outlet, go straight to the pasta and grab me some. And then you don't have to spend all day in the store. You can stockpile, get what you need and go on about your life, right? So hopefully what I'm sharing and what I'm doing is impactful um, in that way, as well as um, just getting your mind stirred on being able to be prepared in case shift happens. Now, why is this? I've never seen this brand of spaghetti. Have y'all ever seen this? Interesting. Ready cut spaghetti. Interesting. Huh. never seen that brand before and look at this you guys and this is what i was saying about grocery outlet they're one of those stores gluten-free lasagna so for those of you i think i've seen a couple of you comment about dietary restrictions here's some gluten free oven ready and i love to buy oven ready lasagna i made lasagna for probably the second time in my life maybe the first uh, about a month or two ago it was really good and i didn't know there was a difference between oven ready and regular lasagna noodles regular lasagna noodles you have to boil first oven ready means it's already ready you can just put them in the oven like this and they're already cooked through so this is exciting 99 cents again if i was not moving i already have a stockpile to try to move which i'll share how that goes with you guys uh different flavors of tuna um, this is over a dollar but it's interesting to see these flavors there's jalapeno i would love to eat that sriracha spicy Thai chili oh this would be really good with some pasta some rice noodles uh, and then roasted garlic herb so if you don't have the mixings or the mayonnaise or whatever for um, making tuna fish they already come flavored and those are great for work snacks um, or to take for lunch for work but I'm really impressed with this tuna uh, tuna with the pasta down here you guys look at that 59 cents and in case you didn't see it, I didn't show it. Here's some more pasta, 99 cents uh, for this egg noodle pasta. Here's some medium egg noodle for 99 cents. And they have plenty. They have plenty, even back there, the 59 cent pasta. Look at that. You guys, this is good. Like, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Yellow lentil, 99 cents. This is a, a, a type of pasta, but it's lentil, which I'm sure is healthy. And look at the protein, because I talked to you guys about having protein, because a lot of the things that we're stockpiling um, don't necessarily have all the density of nutrition that we need. Protein is very important. So anything you can grab with protein in it is a plus. And here's more of that pasta brand that I've never seen before. And Grocery Outlet is known for having brands, like I said, that are one time or they didn't do well in the stores and so they send them here and you get to try out different things now i am going to talk about pet supplies uh pet foods and things like that you see my daughter turned her head around she heard the word pets she is a pet lover um but not in this video but just wanted to show really quick jelly you want to show them that one up there 69 cents for some i think it's cat food cat food look at that so just something, if you do have pets, don't forget to stock up for your pets. And we also found the treats for 99 cents. <laughs> and there seems to be like one more bag of those left. So that's a really good deal. Um, my daughter used to feed the neighborhood cats. Oh, look at this, you guys, 79 cents. More food. And I'm not sure what these are. Treats, savory cat treats uh for 99 cents now i don't know how much cat food normally goes for but again if you're stockpiling or if grocery outlet is your go-to store or if you just want to grab some extra items maybe even for a neighbor or elderly person who depends on their pet for um support or just for um having some companionship um their pets are going to be very important to them and they're going to want to make sure they get fed and they may not be able to barely feed themselves so getting a couple extra things of cat food or dog food or even treats for them even the tuna fish cats can eat the, the real tuna fish right 
as long as you take the bones out okay so that would be a good um something that you could get and give away to your neighbors um or to maybe people in your church or your community if you want to help out other people who are stockpiling but don't necessarily have um the means to do so now i just saw this display of spices and i was just looking but i don't see anything here for 99 cents but again, if you can stretch your budget a little bit, we have $1.29, $1.59, $1.49, and up to $3.29, $3.99 for some different spices. Um, $1.99 for the Chile, Chile Negro Intero. Y'all know I be in here butchering names, I'm trying to pronounce stuff. But if you use it, you know what it is. Speaking of seasonings, came down this aisle and this is what I see. So we have some 99 cent. Y'all, I'm getting all the messages on my phone. Everything just keeps popping up. <laughs> so 99 cent crushed red pepper, chili powder, cayenne pepper, beef flavored bouillon powder. Again, if I wasn't moving, I'd grab that because I have not seen that like that. Paprika. And it's just regular paprika. It's not smoked, but it's paprika nonetheless. More beef bouillon oregano basil parsley flakes thyme italian seasoning garlic pepper seasoning garlic salt i don't really use garlic salt i use garlic powder let me know if you use garlic powder versus garlic salt i grew up with a grandmother who cooked with garlic powder and i put garlic powder in pretty much everything you guys 2.99 that is a deal to me 2.99 Sazon, everything, $5.99. But um, I don't do garlic powder. I'm just showing you kind of what Grocery Outlet has, um, as well as the deals that we're finding. Ground black pepper, ground cinnamon, chopped onion, um, and this is the coffees and teas sweeteners probiotic teas here's some jams just kind of giving you an overview of the store in case you've not been in a grocery outlet or you don't have one near you it's just like a regular grocery store but and then they do have a whole co section on the back wall all across there um, but since I was looking for things for the dollar challenge I didn't bother to go back there but um, I did just want to show you guys some of the other things that they have. They have lots of name brand things. So even though it says bargain market, it's not an off-brand store. Um, did you guys want to get some chicken in the bag? Um, so yeah, they have a lot of um, variety. Oh look, you guys, they got chicken sandwiches. I don't either. It's Foster Farms. They're a pretty good brand. Buttermilk, Tangy, Tangy Buttermilk Ranch. And then they have, oh, those are wings. Popcorn chicken. You want those? Cayenne pepper sauce. Girl, your face is going to fall off. Can I get them? If you want them, you better eat them. You have a short amount of time to eat them too. We're leaving in a week. I know. You guys used to eat those when y'all were little. I wonder why it stopped. I don't know if I should regret feeding them to you, but you did used to eat them. Everybody. Okay, you guys. Here's some salad dressing for nine, or for 69 cents. Excuse me. And it's balsamic. Let's see what the expiration date is. Sweet balsamic vinaigrette. Expiration is July... 26 2023 and one thing i will note about shopping here is that um you do want to be very careful on your expiration dates because sometimes things are uh soon or quick to expire just because they get stuff um that is no longer selling in stores now, i'm not sure if they get the stuff from the actual other stores or is it just from the warehouse that it originally came from and the store is no longer selling it so they are giving it to grocery outlet from the store um 
$1.99 for ketchup. That's not too bad. Um, you guys, they wouldn't believe it unless I showed it. $7.69 for a mayonnaise. Where they do that at? How much is mayonnaise where y'all live? Um, that is a 48 ounce. I'm almost speechless, and it takes a lot to make me speechless. You guys. Now, I never want you guys to think that you can't stock up on vegetables and frozen things, but we're always thinking about a grid down situation, so that's why I show you guys now perishables and dry things. But if you have a freezer, which when we move, one thing I do want to invest in is a deep freezer or a chest freezer, um, a big one. And having things like this is a non-negotiable. It's a must, right? Um, but just when we talk about prepping and having things, some 99 cent vegetables um, for a grid down situation, that's why I don't often talk about frozen items and things like that. But these are definitely good things to have. Um, and especially if you have generators, solar, or any type of backup source of electricity and power, um, having frozen vegetables and things like that is never a loss, right? Because you have a way to cook, um, which I hope to talk about that in future videos. You have a way to um, preserve your cold foods and other things that you're buying. So it wouldn't be a total loss uh, for those of you who are able to store and um, preserve frozen um, and perishable items. So just sharing with you a little bit um, of what they have. So I love mac and cheese and I grew up on homemade mac and cheese. We were talking about this in the comments on the previous video. And um, Amy's vegan meals are one vegan meal brand that I enjoy. Um, so excited to get that for $1.99. And that is definitely for today. <laughs> that is not a stockpile item. I will be enjoying that today. Um, and just showing you, especially if you don't have the ability or don't have a Sam's Club card, sometimes you can find things to stock up on. This is a little over a dollar each for the Hot Pockets. Now, I don't know if this is the healthiest thing or not, but I'm just sharing with you what they have here and you can make your own personal choice <laughs> if you want to get all of this lovely cheesecake i'm not a cheesecake person um, but i do love that strawberry pie but i'm not gonna get it you guys i'm not gonna do it and these little sundaes are really good but i'm not gonna get any of that today i'm gonna be good and then here's just some frozen treats so there's a lot more to see in this store you guys so much more to see um here's some of their meat options and again if you have the freezer capacity and a way to keep things uh preserved in a grid down situation um you may can find some really good deals here we do a lot of ground turkey um and $6.49, that's about the going rate in the regular store. So some things you may find for a pretty good deal. It's a $1.39 a pound. I think that's a pretty good deal on a full chicken. $1.29 a pound on the chicken thighs. If that's the right tag. They do have fresh produce here as well. So hopefully this look inside of Grocery Outlet gives you an idea of what they have to offer, what you can get here if you've not been to one, but there's one close to you, or if you're traveling, I am in the Pacific Northwest in Washington State. Um, so they are um, definitely on this side of the world. I'm not sure where else they are. If you have a grocery outlet in your area, uh, if you don't mind commenting, uh, what state at least if you don't want to put your city at least say the state that you're in and That you have a grocery outlet there. So anyone else that sees this video that's looking for a grocery outlet or a bargain Discount store that may be similar to grocery outlet 
they can get that information from you. That would be very helpful to all of the friends here watching this video. So again, there's so much more to share and so much more to show you guys inside of um, Grocery Outlet Bargain Market. I just like saying the whole thing together. <laughs> It's called Grocery Outlet, but um, there's so much more to show in here. Um, we're actually towards the end of the store, but it's getting a little busy. People are getting off of work and I'm filming with a whole phone in my hand, um, which is weird. <laughs> uh, just in general, y'all know I don't care, but it's weird in general and I want to respect people's privacy and try not to have people on camera. But now I'm finding myself ducking and dodging people. So um, it is making it a little more difficult to record so for now i am going to wrap this video here and i hope that what i have shared with you so far inside a grocery outlet has been helpful um insightful and in getting a look inside a grocery outlet for the first time if it's your first time i hope it will encourage you to go and see what deals and discounts you can find at your local store so thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you like this video make sure you press the like button if you are not already subscribed because i can see if you are and if you're not not really but it tells me in the <laughs> creator studio how many percentage of people who watch my videos are subscribed and how many percent are not so if you're not subscribed i would appreciate it if you do and i have more good detailed prepper videos to come and we're going to continue this dollar prepper challenge wherever i can i'm going to a new state so who knows new stores new opportunities for prepping and um i gotta get my stockpile moved to a whole new state you guys so stay tuned for that i don't know what i'm gonna do i haven't even touched it to even try to prep and we're moving in a week yeah so pray for me <laughs> Thank you guys again for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Again, I really truly do appreciate every subscribe, every comment, every view, every like. And if you haven't been sharing my videos, please share it with somebody in your family that you talk to about prepping, but they don't really want to listen. They don't think it's real. They think you're kind of conspiracy doomsday crazy. Share it with them. You never know how they can be inspired to go ahead and get to prepping. Because the sad thing is when it comes time to use our preps, and people want you to share and you have to say no or you're not able to share as much as you would because you really only have enough to last you for however long you need it to that's going to be the sad part and we perish for a lack of knowledge so inform somebody give somebody the knowledge that you have about prepping and the importance of it and at least you planted the seed if they don't do the work themselves that's not on you but at least plant the seed and encourage other people to prep until next time I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Trust God and lead with love. Bye for now.